my question is would the russian officers or chain of command follow such an order and uh or would, would you think this would increase the likelihood of a a palace coup uh if for those who might not want the uh world war three breakout yeah if it, if if we're limiting ourselves to very small yield nuclear weapons like a half a kiloton as i mentioned earlier i think that it would be more likely that the the officers would would follow it i think it, the the chance of palace coup is is less i think what happens after that really is 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 the question of how how the west responds to it if the if things continue to spiral after that and it doesn't um if the west doesn't let's say push back from the table as the russians intended them to and it continues to escalate if you will i think then it becomes far more likely that um uh, the russians on the ground start to uh disobey orders blatantly especially with regards to the use of of, of tactical nukes um and and the, the chances of a, of a palace coup increase substantially um if things were in a worst case scenario to go to a point of of switching to strategic nuclear weapons which are the big icbms that really only target western cities then the 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 chain of command with regards to who's pushing the button is is fairly limited in in the russian military it, it really takes control out of most people's hands and 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 um uh, it, it would be difficult for for the military themselves to to disobey that order if that makes sense it's it's hard for them to even not push the button in 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 the strategic nukes so the russians have uh, a a um a system called dead hand or or at least they did during the soviet era it's it's unclear if they they, they still have it now uh and dead hand essentially was um an, an autumn relatively automated way for the russian nuclear response to happen if moscow and the and the russian high command were to be destroyed that way if if is essentially if if russia if, if moscow is destroyed then a a um a, 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 the, the the plan was at least that a signal would go out for all of the ICBMs to launch themselves. Um, so it's it, it's unclear if they still have that, but that was at least the policy during during the Soviet era. So it really takes the 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 um, uh, decision making out of a lower level echelons, which, in all honesty, has been you know part and parcel with the Russian military structure from day one. It,